All right, this demonstration is going to be on uh, silvering <clears throat> the inside or mirroring the inside of a glass sphere, uh, in this case a whiskey bottle. Uh, so far I've already cleaned the bottle uh, just using hot water um, and washing it out really thoroughly. I like to bring the temperature of the glass to about 70 to 80 degrees to make the mirroring process work a little faster, followed by uh, just giving it a rinse out <clears throat> with a little of uh, distilled water. First step is to take the tinning solution. We're going to pour it inside the bottle. <clears throat> Simply put the cap back on. And for 30 seconds, we're going to shake it around. <clears throat> what this is doing is it's uh, tinning or metalizing the uh, glass, allowing it to um, accept the silver depositing onto the glass on the inside, <clears throat> causing the inside to mirror. And what you'll see is on the outside, it will be a reversed mirror. And then we'll throw some shellac in it tomorrow. And, uh, seal the inside and we'll have a mirrored whiskey bottle. <clears throat> uh, anywhere between 20 and 40 seconds is acceptable uh, for tinning glass, for uh, silvering. Once it's been tinned, you simply dump out the tinning, take your distilled water, and we're just going to rinse the inside of the bottle with the distilled water <clears throat> and dump that out. Next step is to take our three chemicals <clears throat> which uh, make a silver solution. We're going to take all three of our parts and put it into one cup. We'll do a quick blending of the two part or the three parts into the cup, and then we'll take it and pour it <clears throat> inside the bottle, putting the cap back on the bottle. <clears throat> You'll start to see the glass turn black. At first, you won't notice the uh, silvering, and then the silvering will start to appear. I think you can start to see the uh, bottle turning black now. <clears throat> this is a really good uh, thing to use or to do if you want to do, uh, say, the top part of a uh, <clears throat> bowl of gold leaf and the bottom part of the gold bowl with a mirror. Uh, there's three different kinds of silvering you can do on uh, this kind of glass, and that is uh, gold, copper, and silver. Uh, all of them have uh, their own unique look. There's also a, one that's a blue steel, kind of like gunmetal. It's called Galena. Uh, it used to be used in old car mirrors um, back in the 40s and 50s. <clears throat> We're going to let this go a full five minutes, uh, but I want you to see along the way that it's already starting to silver and turn into a mirror. <clears throat> When you're doing this kind of stuff, you have to keep on turning the bottle, otherwise uh, it's not going to deposit evenly. <clears throat> the full five minutes isn't really necessary, but I really want this to uh, get deposited well. <clears throat> About another two minutes, you can see it's already mirrored really nicely. <clears throat> has a really nice silver look to it. Really nice to sit up on a mantle if you have a, a bar. Just uh, like a conversation piece. You can do it with a Jack Daniels or a Jim Bean bottle. <clears throat> we do this in my shop for customers at a cost of about $12 a bottle. And we've got about another minute and a half. We're going to let it go. 
and then we're going to rinse it out and I'll show you once again the finished product <clears throat> just to show you once again the bottle is silvered <clears throat> nice looking mirror finish on it you can definitely see yourself and it gives the uh, raised lettering of the bullet bourbon a uh, 3d effect and the old wavy glass of this bottle really sets it off and makes it look nice even the bottom is silver <clears throat> let it go about another 30 seconds and then we'll rinse it <clears throat> All right. Keep in mind you you're using a steam distilled water. Uh, anything else, something like tap water, will cause it to. Um, have problems uh, somewhere down the road it'll antique if you don't want it antique that's not the way to go but I'm going to just rinse it with some steam distilled water getting the residue off of it <clears throat> and then we just let it air dry overnight and it's done other than throwing some shellac in it and letting it uh, seal up this has been Silvering glass demonstration. You can see our products at www.antiqued-mirrors.com. Thanks.